Hello and welcome. This is Rufamonger, my friends. It is King of Fighters trailer time again, this time with all new character Dolores. So we've seen Dolores' face for a while. She's in the story trailer, she's on the official box art, but we never really got to see, see her before, right? In game, what she can do, anything, what she's about, until now, as we have a full trailer to go work with. And going by the trailer, very interesting stuff. Being an all new character, it's sometimes a little difficult to say, you know, what's what, right? But of course, we're gonna do our best to break everything down. So normally in these trailers, I do a little bit of a lore breakdown first before we get directly into it. And being an all new character, there's not too much to say. We don't know too much about her just yet, but we do know some things. One of the most important things right off the bat is we now have a new fully complete team. We have Dolores, Ilsa, although some people are saying it might be Elsa, I'm not too sure, and Hydern? So yeah, Hydern, of all people, is teaming up with the kids, it would seem. And this is officially Team Rival. Now directly off the bat, Team Rival is a pretty loaded term. You gotta say, well, Team Rival to who? Exactly. And then you would have to say, well, probably Team Hero. It is well documented, even though there's not too much info around it, that Isla does not like Shune. She's the team leader, so there's that rivalry, but perhaps every character in Team Rival has their own rivalry. It would potentially stand to reason that perhaps Dolores is a rival to Kukri, as they both kind of have similar-ish powers. They do share design elements as we've gone over in the Kukri trailer. A lot of uh, kind of like the filigree, the outsides of the designs of the characters, like the markings, are exactly the same, so there's definitely a link there. And then that leaves Hydern, I guess, because there's really no one announced anyways that he would be a rival to, but perhaps that will come later. As for some bits of Dolores' story, we do have some stuff to work with thanks to the official site. A revered hermit in the hinterlands of Africa, Dolores has allied herself with Hydern. Her psychic medium capabilities allow her to contact the spirits of the earth, and she uses holy soil to combat her foes. Apparently one of the many resurrected through verse, Dolores may hold the key to its secret, however her connection to it remains a mystery. So Verse, the big bad of King of Fighters 14, one of the core things he did and affecting King of Fighters 15 was bring a lot of dead people back to life. Like that's the reason Ash Crimson is back, that's the reason why Team Orochi is back. These characters were written out of the show, let's put it that way, but Verse managed to bring them back. And that said, it would stand to reason it's not only the King of Fighters favorites that he brought back, it's probably all sorts of people around the world and it looks like Dolores is one of them. Now, the particulars of this and her importance, I guess we gotta wait for the game to come out. But still, she's definitely an important figure, especially because she's teaming with Hydern, because Hydern would not team with a nobody. So we have Isla, who is the direct rival to the protagonist, Shune. We have Hydern, who's one of the most important people on planet Earth. So therefore, Dolores, probably an important person. That's about all we know for now, and in case you did not know, uh, she is also one of the playable characters in the open beta coming up, so that's pretty fantastic as well. Now, as for the actual trailer breakdown, so we see her coming from the ground with her ability, so I suppose that is the holy soil, as it were. Uh, some command over the earth. It looks wet, so mud, holy soil, whatever you want to call it. Uh, she definitely uses it to great ability, though, in the middle of a fight. As for her appearance, definitely very fancy, very high style. Uh, African Bayonetta, maybe? <laughs> She's definitely a high style character. Normally in these trailers, we open with a barrage of normals. So even though this sort of looks like a special move off the bat, I would assume this is a normal, perhaps standing heavy punch. From there, we get what is pretty obviously just a sweep. After that, I'm assuming this might be close heavy punch. So if it is, it's a double hitter, very handy and this would be her power attack. This is her back throw. We can see the little blue window. That means it's a techable throw, so we know it's a back throw. And here we get a little hint. Okay, something's definitely up with Dolores and Kukri. Who knows what it'll be, but these characters are almost certainly at odds. Do we have any Guilty Gear fans in the house? Because Dolores is taking a page out of the Zato playbook. Zato's move, Breaking the Law, 
where he kind of sinks into the ground to avoid stuff, well, Dolores can do much the same. Have to assume she'll be able to bait out certain moves and punish them accordingly if she calls them out directly. Now, this next one's very interesting. So she summons like a stalactite to hit the enemy, which is cool enough, but she also seems to summon a little buddy who's coming up from the muck. You will actually see this guy in quite a few of her moves, so I don't know if uh, he's like a golem or you know, a familiar or something like that, but definitely this guy seems to be part of her power set. In fact, our very next move, he appears again, so she can also summon a far stalactite, so her ability to control the screen will probably be pretty strong. Seems to be a little bit of startup associated with it, but considering it's otherwise instant with no travel time, seems pretty good. Here we have Dolores the Grappler, perhaps, or at the very least a dedicated anti-air move. As uh, Benny Maru is just kind of jumping in, she definitely grabs him out of the air, encases him in rock, and slams him down to the ground. And hey, speaking of command grabs, this is a legitimate command grab right here. The red sparks mean it's an untackable throw. So she has a ranged command grab. Now it does appear there's a little bit of startup, so you can jump it. This isn't like a Clark frame one grab or nothing, but it's ranged, so you can be a little tricky. Perhaps uh, she'll have some sort of mix up where we can just get him to stand still for a second. She can get this off. But yeah, it sucks you in, then pops you back out. And uh, the landing, that's the hardest part. Here we see what I'm assuming is a stand heavy kick, followed by a level one strike super. Kind of hits you with the holy soil, and that's about it. Now, back on the command grab train here. So red flash, that means unteckable grab. So this level two super where she's just crushing you between two boulders, this would appear to be a grab super. Benny Maru, he looks already in the hit stun state, so it's probably being comboed into because in King of Fighters, you are indeed allowed to combo into command grabs, unlike many other fighting games. But this appears to be a command grab super. So anti-air grab, weird range grab, and a grab super, that's kind of a grappler to me. Next up, we see what is perhaps a round N wind taunt. I'm not too sure, but she is striking a pose for sure, getting that style in. Now going from there, it's combo time. So we see what is perhaps just a basic B and B here. So it starts with crouch light kick, going into crouch light punch, into what I'm assuming is her command normal, and then ending off with a special projectile. Another quick combo here. This is apparently stand heavy punch, maybe into a projectile. Now, one of the little things is you can see the little buddy here, right? But look at the punch. It's also the little buddy. So whoever this guy is, is all over Dolores' moveset. Next up here is pretty interesting. So this is, I'm assuming, close heavy kick into something, into the projectile which bounces back, and then the air grab dunking you. So first up here, this might be a target combo because it's definitely not close heavy punch because it knocks the enemy back, right? Or it could perhaps be a different special move. And now we can also see that the stalactite projectile can hit at alternate angles and juggle you back in for a combo. So zoning and combos perhaps. For our next combo, this is what I'm assuming once again, close heavy punch, double hitting, very valuable into command normal, into the level one grab super as we discussed. So level one, the boulders are just a little smaller, but they still smash your head in and canceling into the level two strike super. So pretty easy hit confirms it looks like. Here we see the strange combo of close heavy kick into perhaps a target combo going to level one strike super and then climax canceling into the level three. And for the level three, she gets pretty showy. So hitting you with this holy soil stuff, which like calcifies Mentenkun, he's like stuck in mud, which is pretty weird. And then from there, the glasses come off. So now you know the real deal is happening, right? And at which point I can't call this anything other than like the mudslide projectile. Like if Zamasu was an earthbender in Dragon Ball Fighters, this would be his super, I guess. No matter what's actually going on, I, it's kind of hard to tell, I guess. It definitely gets the job done. And closing with the wind pose, you can see a big close up shot on the fact that she has taken off her glasses. Get your mind out of the gutter. And that is Dolores. So super stylish kind of mildly evocative of Bayonetta in a lot of ways, like it's Bayonetta's long lost twin. <laughs> and she has weird earth slash mud bending powers with holy soil. 
One initial impression I have here is she's a lot like another fairly new fighting game character, and that would be Garrus from Mortal Kombat 11. Garrus also had a lot of command grab stuff, a lot of weird soil, sand, rock stuff. Uh, he could grapple, and he had a lot of projectiles from all over the screen. So in a lot of ways, she kind of reminds me of him, and that's a very good thing because Garrus is one of the best things about Mortal Kombat 11. Past that, I do want to say I really love the fact that she's from Mali, of all places. There's almost no fighting game characters from Africa, let alone she's definitely the first ever character from Mali. Also, Isla is from Chile, and that marks the first ever Chilean fighting game character as well. So when it comes to diversity, King of Fighters 15 is doing pretty good. It's always nice to have someone to rep your home country. You know, as a Canadian, I barely see any Canadian fighting game characters myself, right? Almost everyone's always Japanese or American. So seeing different countries get repped, that's fantastic. All in all, with this initial presentation of Dolores, I just gotta say two big thumbs up. Love everything about her. She looks great. Her fighting style's cool. Her play style seems pretty good. And I always got room in my heart for nether character with command grabs. That all said, my friends, that is the end of the video. So thank you very much for watching. Hope this video has found you well. Go out and play some King of Fighters.